see you are next. Okay, so this is a timeless read. Whenever you find this reading, it's for you. So don't freak out and don't worry about it and be like, oh my God, it's end of December. Okay, <laughs> so whenever you find this reading, it's for you. I'm just going to put December 2023 on it so that people know when it was uploaded. Okay, all of my readings are timeless. Okay, this gives you an idea of a timeline that you're on. However, I will try to connect the energy of, you know, end of December, beginning of January, just to give you an idea, right? Um, this is a general read. It's not a love read, okay? As you know, I'm not doing love reads anymore. As of right now, I put up a community voting post on my community tab and everyone, hands down, voted for general reads. Everybody's sick of love right now, <laughs> at least romantic love, right? Um, so... I will be doing those. And the second runner up was the twin flame energy updates for the masculine and the feminine. So I will continue to do those as well. And of course, I'll, whatever reads I want to do. <laughs> okay, so let's dive right in. I've already energy cleansed your space. And we are going to start out with the dragon tarot. All right, what do we have for Aquarius? I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye to Capricorn's guides and connect now to the Aquarians that watch me and their guides, their star family, their ancestors. My guides are ever present, so I don't need to worry about <laughs> that. Um, thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages for Aquarius. Let's rock and roll. All right, so as you know, um, I talked about a little bit in a Capricorn's reading, but I am fighting off a weird little, I don't even know if it's a cold, but like my throat has been scratchy and I was coughing a bit yesterday. So I was going to do your guys' reads yesterday and then I didn't feel well. I started coughing a lot and I took some, a little bit of cough medicine with honey in it and now I feel a little bit better, but still have a little bit of a scratchy throat. So <laughs> I still feel really good though, so. All right, it's two of wands. Ooh. Depending on what card comes next, let's see what's going on for Aquarius, huh? Knight of wands. Hold on, what else do we got? Aquarius, what else does she, which, what else does... I almost said she, so someone might be watching. We have a feminine Aquarius. That's weird. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> what else does Aquarius need to know? But there are no accidents. I've learned that with <laughs> with life. Okay, I'm going to get a few more cards out before I start to interpret the energy. Aquarius, what do we have for Aquarius here? Bam, 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 bam. Wow, we have a lot of balancing energy. We have two of pentacles, two of wands. Eight of Swords. Let's get one more, please. One more. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. What's going on there? Ooh, it's flu. Come on in. Eight of Swords, one second. All right, sorry about that, Aquarius. Um, I had to pause really quickly. My littles wanted something. Okay, so let's, now I totally got off what I was going to channel for you. <laughs> oh, I need to relook at these cards. All right. So for some of you, you may be thinking about doing something else for your work. Okay. If you do decide to change professions or careers or you have something else that you want to have lined up, right? If you've been flirting with the idea of doing something else with your life, something closer related to your to your um heart space and your soul mission, okay? That's what I'm going to say about it. 
Um, if you are learning something new right now, right, in regards to a new soul path, a new financial path, I would say it's going to be very, very lucrative, okay? I can see you flirting with the idea of either staying at an older, I, I want to say older, but not, I guess it's not older, staying at the job you're at now or whatever it is you're doing for money right now or moving towards a new path, okay? And I see you like really, really wanting to throw yourself and, you know, I see a lot of passion and fire going towards this new financial investment, whatever it is that you are flirting with doing, okay? And I honestly think that you're really going to love it. I feel like it's really going to balance out your finances, okay? Look, we have two of wands, which is the energy of like trying to decide really between two energetic paths, right? It's like stay where I'm at, go to this other place, which this other, you know, adventure, which really sets my soul on fire. I'm just so passionate and fiery about it. But do I... Do I dare take that chance, right? I really want to take the chance, but I don't want to I don't want to just plow forward without really thinking things through. Cuz the Knight of Wands is like the energy of just going for something and not really thinking things through. But though you want to do that, you're really taking your time. We got 2 of Pentacles, which is again the energy of weighing out two different paths, two different scenarios, right? But look at what we have in between here. We have the Ten of Pentacles, which is the energy of like wealth, a lot of wealth, a ton of wealth, like so much wealth that you can, you have money to just burn. <laughs> you know what I mean? But at the same time, it makes you really nervous. Look at this Eight of Swords. So like you're, you're running you're running all these thoughts in your head. It's like you're anxious. There's all these thoughts. And it's like, what if I fail? What if I this? But what if you succeed, Aquarius? I really, really, really want you to take this, this leap of faith because I see it going really well, right? Like, it's funny. There's this energy of like really wanting to just dive in. But at the same time, like this energy of like, maybe I should think things through, right? It's like, I really want to dive right in, but I want to, I want to do this with a clear head. I want to make the right decision. So it's like head over heart, right? I don't know. I love it. I love it. Look, we have the star on the bottom of the deck. Look at that. This is, this is your card, Aquarius. This should be a sign that you're on the right path. Look at that. Whatever it is you put, put your eggs in, in this basket, like, dare to hope for it because I see it going really, really well, okay? Oh, man. That's incredible. All right, let's get one more card from this deck and we're going to move on. What else do we have for Aquarius? What else do we have? Yeah, I would I would say go for it, Aquarius. If you want to branch out into other avenues to make more money, I would say go for it. It's going to go really well for you. Oh my God, you cannot make it up. There it is again. I told you, look it. When this card comes out, it's a confirmation from the universe saying, yes, you, this is your path. Okay. The star card always is a yes. It's, it's always a confirmation that you are on the right path. It's the right path card. Okay. A lot of people say, you know, the star is hope and yes, it is, but it is also, most people don't know, this is the confirmation card, which if you read it, it says, you're on the right path. 
Okay, and it's Aquarian energy. Can I make it up? Beautiful. I love it. Oh my God, it's so good. We're going to move on from that. Wow. Okay. So yes, if you've been thinking about doing something else, go for it. Seriously, go for it. The only fears are in your head, right? You've been playing it back and forth. Like, what's going to happen? Your thoughts are what's holding you back. Okay? Don't let them do that. Right? Our, our worst enemies are ourselves. All right. Let's do a power of love card for you to see, you know, what lessons we're activating right now during this Cancer full moon. Whew. It's been heavy, hasn't it? Fuck on it. Shit. Let's see. What do we got? Why do I keep feeling like there's a hair somewhere? It's driving me fucking crazy. Damn. Stupid. All right. What do we got for Aquarius? Let's see. Transformation. Wow. You use the power of love. To move through limitations. Oh, sorry. Limit. Well, probably through limitations too. There are no accidents. It actually says you use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into an awareness, right? But there are no accidents. So yes, you, you use the power of love to shift through limitations as well. Look it. You're going through your limitations. You're plowing right through them. Any type of self-limiting beliefs, boom, they're, they're done, Aquarius, right? You're shifting through illusions, right? You're just plowing through them. You're shifting yourself into this new state of consciousness, right? And that is what's going to serve you when you go into this new energy, right? This new energy of like, this new path, okay? This new path. It's gonna transform not just your life, but you. And I don't know why I felt like I had to look on the bottom of the deck. I've literally, for all the signs, only pulled one card, one power of love card. But for some reason, Spirit wanted me to get you, give you another one. Look, unity. You understand that the love shared with another is amplified and it has a ripple effect across the universe. Wow. It's union. Wow, it's union. It says unity. This is about love being shared with someone else, which has a ripple effect across the universe. What type of love does that? What type of love ripples across the universe when two people love each other? That's a twin flame connection, right? I don't know why Spirit wanted me to show you that, but boom, there it is. There are no accidents, right? There's not. All right, I'm going to, where is, oh, right. so we're going to pull some more tarot and then we're going to go on to the career portion, okay? I'm going to try to keep this reading short and sweet because Capricorn's reading was really long. Like, Spirit just would not let me stop. And I was like, oh, we're done. Like, this needs to be done. I still have to read for Aquarius and Pisces. I'm getting tired and you know, nobody got time for that shit, Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> oh spirit sometimes they just oh they draw the readings out for some reason they just you know what i'm saying it's like you pull one card they're vague and then you pull another one and you're like oh my god can you just stop can you just answer my questions for this for these people so we can move on i have two other signs to read for spirit let's wrap it up right it's so funny okay what do we got for aquarius Five of Wands. What do we got going on here? What kind of conflict is going on with Aquarius? I feel like this is people being jealous of your new transformation. Honestly, let's see. Oh, yeah. All right. This newfound energy, people are not going to like it. They're going to be very jealous of this when your ships start rolling in, Aquarius. 
It's going to make you want to go into hermit mode. But you know what? You deserve this. The hermit mode is also about self-enlightenment. This is about you going within, you know, doing your spiritual work, meditating, doing those things which help you to find enlightenment within yourself, Aquarius. And you've earned this shit. So let him be jealous. Please let them be jealous. Let them do their own work. You've earned everything that's coming your way, okay? Trust that. You're a spiritual warrior. I can feel it. Wow, we got Page of Swords again. What does Page of Swords mean? I really want to read this now. Let me see. Hold on a second. One second. Wow, this is crazy. So I looked it up in this book that I have, which is the Dragon Tarot book right here. Listen to what it says, Aquarius. The Page of Swords represents someone who is adept at uncovering secrets and unraveling mysteries, a problem solver, sleuth, and possibly even a spy. This is somebody watching you. You have a spire. You probably, it's funny because I, I don't know why. Normally I always, if I'm doing a love reading, I think, I think the reason I didn't recognize the energy was because normally when I'm doing a love reading and a, and a page, especially the page of swords comes out, it's like, oh, you have a spire. You have someone watching you, right? Watching your social media, whatever. I didn't recognize the energy because it's, it's, it's not a love read, right? It's just a general read. So it threw me off for a minute. But it says he can be trusted with secrets when given good reason. He is a good diplomat with a keen eye for creative co compromise, able to act on his own initiative and only give away what is necessary to achieve a goal. His taste for secrecy can be taken too far, however. Wow, so someone's being sneaky. You may have an idea of who's watching you right now. This energy came out twice, Aquarius. Just so you know, remember it came out twice? It came out in the Dragon Tarot. Someone's going to make a move over something. They're watching you hardcore. They're watching all your stories. <laughs> you, you know it too, look. I bet you half of the comments are going to be like, I know exactly who the fuck this is. Oh, my God. Oh, that's who it is. It's the King of Cups. Look, look, you can't make it up. You know exactly who it is. It's the one that's been waiting to make this love offer. The one sitting in the sidelines. He's not going to shoot his shot. He or she, right? It doesn't matter. They're not going to shoot their shot until they know. They know exactly what the hell they're doing. Okay, that's what this is. Wow, so not only do you have money coming in, you have love too, Aquarius. You have it all. The grand the grand table is set for the movie of your life. Oh my God, two more cards and we're wrapping it up, Spirit. Oh my God, you have 10 of pentacles again. Okay, so you're about to be a billionaire. <laughs> this is the second time you got 10 of pentacles, Aquarius. I literally get so lit up and excited when you guys have good shit coming in. It makes me so damn happy. I love to hear about your happiness. You know, people's happiness. I hate when I have like doom and gloom cards. It's like, fuck that shit. Give me some good news for these people. Oh my God. I can't believe. Ten of Pentacles twice. Oh my God. I, do, have you have, do you have that um, Gucci purse lined up yet? Or that Tesla Aquarius. Because you should. Oh my God. I, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Please, please do not forget me when you're rich. Please send me like a huge tip. <laughs> please. Oh man. Please don't forget about me Aquarius. All right. One more card for Aquarius. So if you're penny pinching right now, don't even worry about it with King of Swords. So, okay, again, look, so it's funny because we have King of Cups, then we have Four of Pentacles and King of Swords. 
This person in the past, they may have really held on to their emotions. They were in the King of Swords energy. So they acted really detached. They don't want, they didn't want to give stuff away, right? Even here, it's like they, they only tell their secrets when they know it's going to benefit them. That's what it said, right? But they're ready to open up because they know now. They cannot come in this energy of detachment, right? They have to have healthy detachment, of course, right? But they can't come in this energy of holding on to all their secrets because they know the best benefit for them would be to come forward like this. Open, opened, opened up. So they want to come with this King of Cups energy. They might still hold back a little bit, right? Let me pull one more card. They struggle with opening up. That's what it is. But they want to open up to you. They have very deep emotions for you. Look, they're in love with you. I feel like they just have trouble opening up. What's going to be the outcome for these two, please? Give me an outcome. nine of cups wow so yeah it's good you guys are going to end up in a relationship you're their wish fulfillment and they know it they might have screwed it up in the past that's what happened because they couldn't open up it was too hard for them it scares them but they have really deep emotions for you and they know that you're their wish fulfillment nine of cups is the wish coming true right they see you as their wish coming true you guys are going to end up in a relationship. Let me tell you that. All right, let's do the career portion and then we're going to wrap this reading up, Aquarius. Um, let's do a card for those who are entrepreneurs or work for themselves. Entrepreneurs are those that work for themselves. Let's get a card for them. Whoa, that came out quick. Take a divinely guided chance. Boom. Didn't I just say that? I said, if you're worried about taking that chance, I would do it because you're going to make a ton of money. Oh my God. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. Where's my little horn? Remember, I always say, you know, I want, I want a little horn to go toot toot <laughs> when I can toot my own horn because it means I'm, I'm so good at my job and I, I love it. Like, this is how I know I'm good at my job, right? I am good at what I do. Why do you guys think I charge so much for my readings? If I was just a shit reader who didn't know what the hell she was talking about and none of my readings that people pay for, like not, nothing came to fruition or whatever, people wouldn't pay me this, this high of a price, right? Like, do you think someone would pay? I and, and I charge taxes on my readings, right? Because I pay taxes, so obviously you have to pay it too. Do you think someone would pay me $213 if everything that I said didn't make fucking sense and all of it fucking resonated with them, right? Yeah. No, they wouldn't. So toot toot. Let me toot my own horn. Tooty toot toot. <laughs> because I'm connected. You know, I'm not trying to be not humble, but I'm, I'm going to toot my own horn because I know that I'm good at what I do. Because I do this for you guys. These readings that I do for free, it's because I love what I do. I want to help. I honestly want to help. I honestly love doing this, right? I do it for the greater good. Because when we're all happy and high vibrational, we change the fucking world, Aquarius. You know, you guys are the rebels of the Zodiac. All right, now let's pull a card for those who work a 9 to 5 or work for someone else, please. All right. Ooh, that card flew out too. Energy is beautiful, Aquarius. Positivity, faith, and optimism. All right, for those that work for themselves, the entrepreneurs, the ones that have their own business, take a divinely guided chance. Look at that. This is going to make your inner child so fucking happy too. Look, the angels are also guiding you. Look at these. One, two, three, four, five, six angels. Seven. Wow, it's a lucky number seven. 
Oh my God, luck is on your side. You better take this chance, Aquarius. All positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk and you are ready. Do you hear that, Aquarius? You are ready to follow your divine guidance, the divine guidance of Chakra Bunny <laughs> to new territories as you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar but no longer appropriate for you you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities oh my god i told you i told you i'm don aquarius i fucking love this energy for you so much some of you are really getting out of your damn comfort zone and it's so beautiful i'm so happy i love it I love all of it. Yay. You go, Aquarius. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. Oh, I'm so fucking happy for you guys. <laughs> Seriously, I'm so smiling right now. All right. Okay. So this is for those that work in 9 to 5 or work for someone else. Positivity, faith, and optimism. Beautiful. You open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Look at that. Look at how, how being high vibe impacts your life. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on. Keep the faith and keep going. Yes, keep that lion uh, energy. Keep it up. You're brave, you're strong, and you got this, okay? You're soft when you need to be and you're brave when you need to be. And look, the angels are guiding you, Aquarius. Fucking amazing. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I'm cussing like a sailor today. I don't know what's gotten into me. Um, yes, I do. <laughs> it's me. Anyways, um, please like, please subscribe. Share with all your freaking amazing Aquarius friends, right? Um, hit the notification bell so that that way you don't miss any of my uploads, you guys. All right, YouTube changed things around, so you need to do that, or else you'll, you'll miss videos. You won't get every notification, okay? And you can just do that by subscribing, unsubscribing, and then subscribing, and then you hit the little bell that says all, okay? There's like all, and then there's preferred or something like that, and then there's like none. I don't know. So you got to hit all, okay? Um, if you want to book a reading with me, all of my prices are in my description box right underneath my video, right? Um, you hit the goal, the appointment fix, and it'll schedule your reading for you. Um, there's the time slots there are ridiculous. So if you need a different time, let me know. I just, I haven't been able to figure out how to change the time slots on there. So that's why it's all stupid. <laughs> there's definitely more time slots available than what's on there. Um, I'll figure it out later. I'm not worried about it. Uh, what else? If you want to support me, I have an Etsy shop where you can shop. I just added some new things. Um, let's see what else. I have a Patreon that, I mean, it's not going to break your pocketbook. It's $5 a month, and it's a way for you to support my channel every month, right? Um, I have two chip jars, so you can tip me that, you know, anytime you want, and those will also help to support my channel, right? All right, so I think that's all we got. All of my media links are underneath my description box as well. I love you, Aquarius. Bye.